Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to a gameplay video of Ghost of a Tale on PC. So I was lucky enough to get hold of a early access code, so a big thank you for that. As always, my thoughts and impressions expressed in commentary are my own. So if you want to learn more about this game, then don't forget to check it down below in the video description. So let's go ahead and jump straight in. I did actually briefly start a new game just to make sure recording was set up and working a-okay. So I'm playing this with a Xbox 360 controller, by the way. Not sure if this is going to be just one long video or if I'm going to do a couple of videos. I haven't decided yet. So remember guys, this is a early access build, so there might be a couple of bugs and glitches and whatnot. We are a adorable mouse. A mouse bard. How freaking cute is that? And these animations when he stood still are awesome. They just make him so lifelike. I mean, how freaking adorable is he, right? Just so cute. If we press start as well, here you can also find information about quests and lore. So there's quite a lot of lore in this game, by the way, guys. Things to find and uh, secrets and some puzzles and whatnot, but it also has stealth in it as well. Now, usually I'm not a lover of stealth, but uh, from what I've played of this so far, it's pretty enjoyable, actually. So yeah, inventory, quests, lore, and then we've got tools, clothes, which you can equip onto your mouse character, and uh, obviously they give you buffs in certain things, so health, stamina, etc. In the bottom left hand corner there. So food, you can see that we're hungry actually, so let's go ahead and eat this apple. There we go. Costume book. Let's have a look. The minstrel will sometimes perform in the guise of a character from their song, be it the hero or the villain of the tale. This book describes the items of clothing required to complete each of Tilo's costumes. So that's right, our character that we're playing as is called Tilo. Hopefully I said that correctly. <laughs> It might be Tylo. I think it's Tilo. We've also got a songbook there. The binding of your songbook has been damaged and a number of pages torn out. Many of the songs contained herein are traditional lays. Generations old and belonging to no creature while others are compositions of your own. So I'm probably going to not read out all the text because some people find that annoying. So what I will do is if we come across any law or anything like that, I'll let it pop up on the screen and uh, I'll read it to myself, possibly read out the odd phrase that I find interesting. But you guys can pause the video and read it at your own pace. <laughs> Right, so basically we need to collect these to remember Tilo's wife, I guess? Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. So there's lots of stuff to... Oop, sorry. I was trying to access this smaller one here. Can I not access that one? Never mind. So there's lots of things to find around so you need to make sure you look carefully find me cover your tracks and move unseen 
easiest jailbreak ever. <laughs> Look at the lighting on this game. It's just so nice looking. And actually the requirements for playing this game on PC aren't that high really. I can see an apple in that cage. Actually, there's an apple and an apple core. Can I get to that? I don't know. Another rose. Two of nine collected. Wonder if we can get all nine of them on this early access build or not. Another core. I think that's everything in here. I'm not sure. I don't think we can actually open that cage somehow. Just to get those apples. I don't think so. I'm just trying to see if I can tug on any chain and maybe it falls down and smashes open. I don't know. I can't see anything, but I don't want to spend too long in here anyway. We've picked up quite a bit. Okay, so. Name, Tilo. Profession, minstrel. Offences, acts of sedition. So we've been a rather naughty mouse. Okay, you have I've attracted a guard's attention, so we need to hide. So there's various things dotted around to hide in. And they are pretty generous as well. So that's good. So, because I'm using an Xbox 360 controller... R, T, and A. Sorry, I'm not used to uh, <laughs> not used to using this controller because I barely play my Xbox and Xbox One, etc. And the rats look really scary. Reminds me of the secret of uh, Nim and those books, Red Wall as well. Right, I think he's gone now. I think it's safe. Come here, bug. Uh, you can run really fast as well, so... How adorbs is that? You can't, like, run indefinitely, though. As far as I'm aware. Is there anything in here? Ooh, grain. See, there is things hidden on the sides of the walls and whatnot, so. Picked up a useful tool, you can throw it with Y, so we can use certain items as distractions. So we should probably try that at some point. My aim's gonna be shit though. I'm telling you that right now. Whoa, who's this guy? Old pirate frog. Do you know who I am? Because I have no idea. <laughs> you don't know your own name. Let's be sarky with him. I think... It would be nice if this game had voice acting in it. I think I would prefer that than just reading the text. Right, okay, so this is cool. So when there's highlighted text, you can actually read information about it and learn more. So if you're really into that kind of thing, that's really a nice feature. So I'll just leave the text on for a little bit, so feel free to pause it. I'm just slowly skimming through. <laughs> he printed his own poster.
A word too rude to define. Scrunt. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing that's the swear word for uh, mice. Or a really horrible insult. I guess he's not the one that helped us escape then. So he's happy just staying inside this cell. to do that I'm just a mouse yeah because it is a crime <laughs> Alcohol. Cool, so it auto saved there. Um by the way, in the hiding spots they're the only places you can save the game. So you probably want to do that pretty regular to be honest. Whoa, yeah, it is dark. Okay, so we need some kind of light source to go through there. So yeah, if I just show you how to save. So you press start. Oh, sorry, not start. Uh, back. And then save game. And it's pretty quick as well, so that's good. Come here, bug. You're mine now. Mohahaha. <laughs> Some more mushrooms. You need the jail master's key. Try sneaking. So we need to hold down the RT button. I'm so not used to this controller. <laughs> right, so the awareness thing is actually really good because if you're not facing them, it does show up still on the screen. See what I mean? So all you need to do is stop to reset it and it's as simple as that. So it'll be interesting to see what happens later on in the game when there's more rats to avoid and stuff. Ooh, a candle. There's a bucket here. Why would that be there? Makes me wonder if there's something hung up or something we need to get.
Right, so we've got the bottle of... Oh, shit. Oh! I don't think he saw us get into the... Uh... I thought we were away from him because the indicator disappeared for a second. Oh, that was actually pretty tense. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's pop out. Where's that frog gone? Oh, I've just noticed he's got a peg leg. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, he is a pirate. That facial hair, though. Oh, hang on. There's a green bug there. Mine. Oh, God. He's so cheeky. Well, let's hope he actually uh, does what he says because a pirate's word. Hmm, do we trust it? Probably not. <laughs> Sorry, it was all already scrolled down for some reason there. Oh, cool. I'm loving the lore so far in this game. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Right, let me just go over here a second and just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okie dokie, I'm happy with that, so let's move on. Oh, 
Oh, get inside. Go, 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 go. Sneaky, sneaky mouse. I could get out here and try and sneak away, but I don't want to risk it because all it will take is for him to turn around and see me. So I'm going to wait until he comes back round and goes around that corner, I think. Oh, that was so tense. Barfon. Neils, I think? Profession, guard, offence, disorderly conduct. Right, I was going to risk it and go and open that door, but I'll just wait a second for him to go past again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this by the way, it's something a little bit different for my channel but it's really fun and it runs really well. I have to say I haven't played many early access games but uh, this is definitely probably the best early access game I've played in terms of st stability and uh, performance. I'm just, it's freaking cute, I'm a mouse okay? <laughs> Okay, so let's just try and make sure we look around properly. Pick up as much as possible. He doesn't notice us from inside here, by the way. I've played most of this first bit already, you see. Um, but there will come a point where it's blind. Which I will, of course, let you know about. Okay, I can't carry any more bottles. I'm full, full of bottles. Cool. Yeah, piece of the pirate costume, yar. That's what I should have said. Yar! <laughs> okay, so let's go over to Cloves. And as you can see, it does of course change the appearance of Tila as well. We've got the little ruff on there. We've got the cute, adorable hood. Oh, we're just so freaking cute. <laughs> we actually look a little bit menacing holding this bottle now with that hood as well. I'm gonna bonk you on the head with this bottle. That's the plan. There's no time to sleep. I'm wondering if this isn't activated on this early access uh, demo yet. I don't know what the sleeping actually does because you're not able to do it right now. Where is he? Ho ho ho, that was close. That was too close for comfort, guys.
Wow, he seemed to take ages to uh, turn around and bugger off then. Right, I want to get up on this uh, cabinet over here. Yeah, one thing about this game, guys, is if you try and place a stool or a bucket or whatever it may be that you're carrying too close to something, it'll say this. Find a vacant spot to put down this item, which is a little bit annoying. It kind of breaks the immersion a bit for me. I think they should remove that and just have it where, I don't know, it pushes you back a bit when you're trying to place it down or something. Candles, I'm not sure. I wonder if we can actually light the candles. Um... How do I use this? I don't have a map at the moment. This is good. This is good. I kind of want to use it. Oh shit! I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed! No! No! I died! Oh, When did I last save it? By the frog? Well, I died there. That was my own fault, really. I didn't realise it would throw the grease that far <laughs> overhead. Um, maybe you can angle it and throw it down or something? I don't know. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, guys. What I'll do is I'll make my way back over to the last point where I died. I think it's good to show a death on this video, though, so it was going to happen eventually. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch up to where I was, and then we'll continue on from there on the next video. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm not sure how many videos there will be, because... This is early access, so I don't think it's that long. There might just be one more video and then that's it, but we shall see. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, it's something a little bit different for my channel, and uh, I think it's really cute. I really like this early access build. It feels uh, very stable, very nice, looks gorgeous, runs well, and I can't wait for the full release of the game. So, hopefully... That's whet your appetite for more of the game and uh, for you guys to maybe pick it up yourselves. Don't forget there is information down below in the video description about this game, including a link to Steam where you can purchase the game as well on early access or wait until the full release. So that's it from me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always... Thank you for watching and take it easy guys.